What is up, See It All Outdoors? July 31st, 2018, and I am headed to Pleasant Creek for muskies. I do gotta say, I just had something kinda odd happen to me. Never had this happen before. Um, stopped at a gas station, I just wanted a bottle of water, so I, I parked the, the Jeep and the boat and ran in quick, and there's two guys, a guy and a kid, sitting there selling sweet corn, and I come out, and they are leaned over the side of my boat, pointing and stuff, touching stuff, and a little freaked out. Um, of course, naturally, they talked to me and they they admired my dip net and asked if I fish for muskies and that I do and and just overall, I guess they were just happy to look at my boat. I don't know. Um, hopefully, when I get there, nothing's missing, but definitely a little strange. So, but back to reality here. We are back from Minnesota. We got back on Sunday, and the trip was amazing. I always have a great time. The family loves it. I love it. I love taking them kids fishing swimming skiing all of it um the fishing pattern was a little weird but after talking to the guys at full stringer bait and tackle there in longville um we realized it's everybody it wasn't just us it wasn't just our lake it's it's just a weird year up there and it's been consistently inconsistent all year so i did take a couple days to run over to inguadona and chase some muskies um saw a couple couldn't connect caught a lot of northerns one great big bass that had a bite taken out of him um, definitely didn't slow him down at all so stick with me here I'm gonna take one evening here quick before I start my new job tomorrow morning and I'm gonna chase some muskies so I'm gonna burn some bucktails and maybe some top water and hopefully I can bring you guys something to watch um, after the night it's gonna be a while before I post I got to sort through all the GoPro footage from Longville and and uh, hopefully get you guys a video so stick with us see it all outdoors Pleasant Creek okay here's the story on this lake for me anyway um, it's got a lot of rock points rock piles and things like that that are small that I can fish from either side inside outside left to right and I can fish them quick so I got about three hours here where I'm gonna go around I'm gonna hit all these points I'm gonna burn some bucktails over them and then later in the evening I'll probably throw some top water I do got some kind of storm front moving in. I just checked the weather. It doesn't look like it's going to turn into anything, but it's throwing an overcast over. So maybe that'll help. Um, but stick with us. See if I can move a fish for you. Well, see it all outdoors. We got an interesting dilemma here. This is something that's never happened to me. I just dropped the trolling motor. I was going to start going, and I actually checked the battery gauge on the trolling motor before I left. So it was hooked up. So I drop it here, and I start moving going to move and nothing's nothing's working not doing anything open the battery door like, oh, i don't know maybe it's a nut rattled loose or whatever and this is this is what i got this is interesting um if you can see this here the the ring or the connector has broken you can hear that beeping as it connects i got no juice to the troll motor right now so this ought to be good i'm going to try to fashion something here just to get me through get me through the evening i mean i drove an hour and a half down here i might as well get some fishing done right i don't want to be moving around with the big motor um there's no wind really to speak of to push me either so hang tight i don't know well lucky day see it all outdoors i stripped the wire um and now I, i've just kind of wrapped it around the terminal tighten the screw down tighten the nut down and we're gonna go with it hey like and comment down below if this has ever happened to you anything like this what you did to fix it in a pinch and Tell me if what I did was dangerous. Um, I just got bare wires wrapped around a terminal with the nut on top. So what I like to do when I, if I'm throwing like a top water prop bait or something like that, man, you can do your figure eight on top. But for me, I always struggle if I've got a fish following. 
I start my figure eight on top. I kind of lose sight of the fish just because of the disturbance in the water, the bubbles and things like that. So I like to bring it in and I, I get to my, my point where I would start my figure eight with any other lure and then I take it down below the water. Um, that bait's still spinning, that prop's still going like crazy, still creating vibration, um, but it also creates a change in depth. That lure changes its, its, its height or its depth. And to me, that's, that's been what it's triggered strikes in the past. Um, it'll, when that lure dives down, just like with a bucktail or something, it kind of comes up and you kind of hang it in the corner and you take it back down. It does the same thing and it'll come up and it'll bubble and that's a that's a big fish over there. I just saw one porpoise over here swimming along. So we're gonna we're gonna try to head that way. But yeah anyway that's that's kind of my idea for a prop bait, a topwater bait, is to just let it change the depth. Keep yourself in a position where you can see that fish. And um, hopefully you did. Gotta check this out. Look at this thing. This is incredible. This is a muskie. And it's it's well dead. Oh my goodness. Ugh. You guys gotta see this. And it is choked on a, a wiper. Um, that's disgusting. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw on a glove here, and you guys can take a take a look at this. I don't usually wear gloves, but this is disgusting. Um, normally if I catch one, I'll, I'll wear a glove just to, to protect me, protect the fish, just give me a little better grip if they should flop or something like that. But I've seen videos of this. I've seen pictures of this. I've never actually seen this. Check this out. This is something incredible. I mean, that's a skinny summertime fish, and he's got this wiper just choked. This is incredible. I think I've seen this fish before, and it's easy to say, but I see a lot of fish right here on this, this little rock reef. But to just really appreciate what we have going on here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this fish out. I'm gonna get my other glove. That is a slimy, slimy fish. I'm gonna grab a couple pictures of this quick for you. Oh, well, they got slime all over the place. That's incredible. I might not catch one today, but. You guys, the teeth on these fish is always baffling. Let's pull this out and then I'll get a measurement on him. He's not been dead long. I've never seen that before. That's incredible. Comment down below if you've seen something like this or, or actually witnessed it. But man, you, <laughs> this just says it all. You really do see it all outdoors look at the size of this wiper that is incredible oh get a picture of both of them now side by side that is a huge wiper we'll get a measurement on these
this wiper is 19 inches long, a full, full 19 inches. That thing weighs a couple pounds. And that is incredible. This muskie right here that I just caught in the dip net, which I would love to claim. I'd take it all day long. Oh man, he's slippery. He is a full 37 inches. I don't know, I'm gonna put him back in the water. I think that's what you're supposed to do. The teeth on this guy are just incredible. Um, hopefully I'm not doing something wrong putting him back in the water, but I don't know what else to do with him really. I can't take him home, he's not big enough to keep in Iowa. He's definitely a dead fish and so is this, this wiper. That's incredible. I've I've absolutely never seen that before, but like I said before, my goal with this channel and with this this project that I guess my cousin and I are doing, Eric, in Colorado, is is to just show you. You can absolutely see it all outdoors. Stay with us. I got a couple hours left here. Hopefully I can hook one up. Alright guys, I'm just getting home. Uh, what a weird day. <laughs> Everything was weird from the trip down to the issues with the battery to the almost running over a muskie with the trolling mower that was just hanging out, not interested in the bait and and all of that to to finding a muskie that had choked on another fish and was just floating around. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was definitely an interesting day for me. Um, please like the video. Please comment down below anything that you've had happen like that or just anything else. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for us and stick with us. We're going to see it all outdoors.